In this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, I'm going to talk about the benefits of pairing. So as we have seen in previous tutorial of extreme programming, that pairing is a concept of extreme programming, which is one of the agile development approach. And pairing can be used in any of the agile development approach. It's really helpful and there are a lot of benefits associated with pairing in agile development approach. Let's see what are the benefits. Now the first benefit is there is increased quality. Now because there is a discussion between a pair uh, which is analytic and brings greater understanding of the issues and how the functionality should be implemented. Because of the discussion between among the developers they figure out the gaps if there are any and similarly if the testers are pairing uh, together they understand or uh, the other person who is sitting together brings in their perspective so it brings in more value add and more clarity to um, to the requirement and even um, to the level of code that is being done for automation or for the uh, actual development work for the product so because of all these inputs from uh, multiple people or people sitting together in pairs they bring in different perspectives different ideas and which in turn adds a lot of value and improves the quality of the end product as well as if you're talking about the testers it improves the quality of the automation code automation architecture and in turn it improves the overall coverage and the quality of the product now the second benefit of pairing is that it uh, there is a knowledge sharing now because individuals um, who have a lot of technical and business knowledge of the domain or um, the technical aspects of the product once there is a pairing concept people with uh, good knowledge of domain technical expertise will sit with other people and in that way the whole team uh, will have that knowledge sharing capability and the, the team team members who have less experience or who do not have the knowledge of the existing system will learn the existing system, system quickly and this knowledge sharing will be beneficial for the whole team in the organization so that's the second benefit of pairing the third benefit is the capability uplift now less experienced team members in the team can learn from the highly experienced team member so highly experienced team member will have a, a lot of knowledge around the processes around the products the technical aspects of the product and all the tools that they'll be using in the project and because of this once there is a pairing concept any new member in the team can easily pick up by sitting with the uh, highly skilled uh, team member and uh, the highly skilled team member can easily guide the new member and he can um, uplift um, his capabilities to the level that are required in the project that's the third benefit of pairing um, the next benefit is reduced risk of lost expertise capability so because if you're not doing pairing so for example there is a person who has been there in an organization and has a good understanding of all the processes tools technologies and he has been there for a couple of years and he is the only one who knows and he once he decides to leave the organization it becomes really difficult to get all that knowledge documented somewhere or even shared some somewhere within the notice period that he'll serve to the organization so because of the pairing there won't be any dedicated person who will have all the knowledge information about um, the tools processes and technologies uh, which he'll accrue over the year Be uh, as as the pairing a concept is introduced so there will be always knowledge sharing and there will be always people who will be knowing same thing and same level of technical expertise um, there will be multiple people in team with, with same level of technical expertise with same level of business um, capabilities so this reduces 
a risk of lost expertise if a person decides one person decides to leave um, the organization so these are um, some of the key benefits of pairing and even um, if the team members are geographically dispersed pairing is still um, possible if you use you know like proper tools of um, having the conference calls uh, you, you can have conference calls and build the team even if the team is geographically um, far away so these are key benefits of pairing and really helpful in today's agile development approach thank you